has been discussed greatly in different conferences. I'd like to speak about the regional cervical cancer. Epidemiology is going up. It's increased uh, more than 3,000 and uh, half incidents per year. The majority of patients, 70 percent, at the point of diagnosis, uh, they have the first or the second stage of the disease. For them, surgical treatment is very relevant. Mortality rate during the first year after diagnosis is not very high comparing to ovarian cancer, but each seventh uh, person dies during the one year after diagnosis. The surgery of uh, regional survival, cervical cancer uh, uh, involves intervention on the regional lymph nodes or on the cervix of the uterus, on the uterus of parametral fat tissue. Parametral fat tissue is not equal to the pelvic fat tissue lymph dissection. If it's done, it's done in a standardized way. Um, uh, exclusion may be in sentinel lymph nodes. Uh, the fat tissue is removed completely, including iliac, iliac, internal, external, obturator lymph nodes. Uh, the lumbar lymph dissection is done only if there are metastases in the pelvic lymph nodes, you know fully. Uh, that there are different classification, classification by Pivel and Radledge, and a classification of Querli and Moro that was uh, suggested in 2008 and updated in 2017. I'm not going to go into details. Uh, the only thing I'd like to say uh, that the third type uh, classification by and C1 and a nerve uh, sparing extirpation of the uterus. They are not equal. Uh, the nerve sparing extended extirpation and the operation of the th third type. In the C1, we remove only upper third of the parametrium up to the deep uh, uterine vein and uh, sacrum ligament in C2 operations uh, and its operation of the third type, uh, we remove uh, the whole parametral fat tissue. On the photo, you can see uh, when we perform nerve sparing operation, uh, there is uh, the risk of uh, not removal of metastatic lymph nodes. You see that the lymph nodes is below the deep uterine vein. While we perform the operations of C1, there is a risk of uh, not removing this kind of lymph nodes, nodes in parametral fat tissue. According to the European and American recommendations, uh, we should avoid uh, combining surgical treatment and radiation therapy. Unfortunately, it's not the case in Russia. Uh, the majority of doctors, uh, they plan combined treatment and after operation to the majority of patients, uh, they are exposed to radiation therapy. But there are risk factors. If we are talking about uh, regional survival, cervical cancer, it's a chemotherapy. Uh, then there may be neoadjuvant chemotherapy with this, uh, following surgery, and if it's necessary to use post-operative treatment, and to that the option to do extensive, uh, extend, extended. Uh, extirpation of the uterus, 
uh, plus adjuvant treatment. But it's, it contradicts uh, the main principles of oncological treatment. Uh, there is a notion that neoadjuvant hemotherapy doesn't improve resectability of the tumor. Uh, these uh, tumors are of a B stage. Uh, they are resectable. The patient can be operated. Neoadjuvant therapy is uh, administered to reduce uh, the risk of uh, radiation therapy or reduce uh, the risk of uh, complications when we combine these two methods. We know that the results of the two randomized clinical trials on neoadjuvant chemotherapy, the main presentation is devoted to neoadjuvant chemotherapy. In brief, I'd like it's uh, the trial Gupta and Kenta. Uh, the five survival rate in neoadjuvant chemotherapy and then following surgery and chemo plus radiation, uh, they turned out to be equal. In Kenta, uh, it was shown that the survival rate in first B2 and second A1 and 2 uh, similar in both methods of treatment, although uh, disease-free survival 5 uh, rate, the chemo and radiotherapy group uh, showed better results. But during a sub-analysis in 1B2 and 2B, it turned out that the results are similar and advantage is only by the reduction in a group of patients uh, in 2B. Near age even chemotherapy in regional cervical cancer in 1B2, 2B is possible is a possible way of treatment comparing to chemo and radiation therapy. But if we turn back to the surgery of cervical cancer, I'd like to show two trials. Hercule trial, you can see that 48% uh, there were 1B1, 1B2, uh, from 1 to 2 centimeters, uh, their size of tumors and 21 patients, uh, they had uh, their metastasis into the lymph nodes. 12% of patients who had uh, the tumor more than 5 centimeters, uh, they received neoadjuvant chemotherapy. You can see very good results of survival, 5-year survival rate. 96% patients who didn't receive radiation therapy. One more clinical trial, Professor Unger from Hungary, more 500 patients were enrolled, one third of patients with more than four centimeters tumors, and 14% of patients, they had metastasis into the regional lymph nodes. These patients, they had uh, uh, D1, extensive parametrectomy by paramoral classification. You can see that the results of treatment, 94% in 1B stage uh, uh, patients with the lymph nodes involved, uh, five, uh, five, survival, five years survival rate, 91% thanks to this extensive parametriumectomy. Uh, the first three lines, Landoni and Professor Lebedev from the Oncological Center named by Blochin in Landoni from 55 to 64%, they receive after operation radiation therapy or chemo plus radiation. You can see a five year survival rate. Uh, they are in the range of 80, 89 percent, five overall, five years survival. Uh, Professor Herkel and Unger, 96, 94 percent. At least uh, they are not uh, worse in this comparison. Sometimes I am criticized that I don't represent my own data, my uh, only speaking about literature data. And 
uh, in one B second B hour result patients who didn't receive uh, radiotherapy, five so five years survival rate turned out to be 94. Like in one B stage patients, five year disease free, 89 percent. Uh, this data is similar to Professor Herke and Professor uh, Unger. It speaks about the fact that the total removal of parametrium in operation 3 and C2, uh, we can not d administer radiation therapy later on. Patients so with their metastasis in their lymph nodes, so the first line is Professor Peters. Neoadjuvant plus uh, chemo and radio if lymph nodes are involved. Then Professor Lebedev from Oncological Center named by Blokin. Five year survival rate from 18, 17 to 66%. Herkel, uh, Professor Unger. It's chemotherapy. Professor Unger, uh, extensive parametrectomy. Overall survival, uh, five years survival, 91%. Our data, 46% with metastasis in lymph nodes. So they received chemo or radio or chemo plus radiotherapy because it's a standard of treatment of these patients. But 54% patients, they either didn't receive any treatment if, uh, they had only D1 operation, or they receive uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy. In this group, uh, five years survival rate was 96%. It speaks about the fact that it's possible not to use neoadjuvant radiation or chemo plus radiation therapy and uh, use or perform the operation of an extensive parametriectomy. The uh, recent meta-analysis comparing neoadjuvant chemotherapy and uh, chemo plus radiation, you can see uh, risk of death two randomized and ten uh, prospective and pre-prospective trials. Regardless, uh, the risk factors, progression, uh, regardless chemo radio or chemo radiotherapy, regardless uh, metastasis in lymph nodes, uh, the results of treatment of patients who received neoadjuvant chemotherapy turned out to have the nearly similar results comparing to patients who are, are receive uh, chemo plus radio. The similar data uh, we receive as to the risk of relapse, regardless of chemo or radiotherapy, lymph nodes, metastasis, the similar data, uh, one uh, near adjuvant chemotherapy or adjuvant radiation therapy was performed. While planning treatment, according to all the recommendations, oh, we shouldn't combine uh, surgical treatment with radiotherapy. Oh, we should uh, perform the operations uh, that will allow to exclude neoadjuvant radiotherapy. The full removal of, or removal of parametrium, tip 3 or C2, allows not to use adjuvant uh, uh, radiotherapy and also uh, to perform uh, organ sparing treatment in tumors not more than two centimeters. So the results of treatment after laparoscopic operations of cervical cancer uh, worse comparing to the open surgery, according to the preliminary data, adjuvant therapy, chemotherapy is alternative to adjuvant chemo and radio treatment. I'd like to cite uh, the uh, quotation from the book by uh, Rabel and Bergman. 
radicality of the operation operation by Verd Gamer depends on the technique of its performance. If the surgeon doesn't have doesn't have these skills, the, this kind of treatment uh, is just uh, the extirpation of the uterus and it's uh, not useful and will uh, result in the relapses of uh, the disease. Even at that time, at uh, that time, it was clear that uh, their extensive uh, surgery will influence uh, their relapse rate.